What's up? Hey, buddy. Welcome to day 422. Make a song right here. Today I'm still working on Vel. Probably working on Vel all week this week. Decided this is so freaking awesome. Watch this. You can freaking own these pillars right here. What's up, T? How's it going, man? So I made her, her shot a really powerful because um, she's going to be more of an end game type of. Out of something right here. Input system when she does her. Uh, release palm. I want to make sure she does not have. Oh, wait, wait. What's this? Start shot. Oh, we need to have no overridable. Clear bits. What you working on today, man? Teak? <clears throat> Swarmonian Explorer? What's the current what's the current thing you're working on in that game? New maps? Sweet. Cool. So when it comes out in a couple weeks, uh, what's your plans then? She keeps getting stuck. So in start shot, I know she runs like a shoot animation. Which is already not overridable. Continue working on it. Fix bugs. Nice. Great plans. Right on. So it's going to be alpha version. Nice. I'm excited for you. So there's going to be a new update every couple weeks. Sweet. I think this might need to be if e render if it's running the idle animation. I think that's what's going on here. You found a bad crash bug? Oh, it's something you could fix. Maybe her animation has next and in input locked. You re implemented class. Oh, really? 
That's good. That's good that it was such a simple fix, but it's got that's cool that you can fix it too by just re-implementing a class. That seems like a really nice simple solution without having to mess with their framework. I like that. Aha! That's the problem. Is next and M input locked? Okay, just make sure it doesn't have that. Oops. That's Java, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is nice. It's so nice, right? You can do stuff like that. Okay, so we do have net input locked. We don't have next and M input locked. That'll make her so she you can't move her while she's doing her shoot animation, but you can right after that as soon as it does her idle. Which next and M input locked? Oh, it might just be because. Oh yeah, now it's all now it's rock solid. Cool. Boom. to charge it up and then you can like tap a direction and let go and she'll go to that direction and kind of change it change your yeah she's badass okay now I'm gonna work on her north shoot animation oh yeah this is I gotta check this in Player E pick up item. Yep. Player two can pick up some items. Hmm. Let's make sure she can still pick up items. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Man, I'm kind of out of it today a little bit. Okay, I'll figure out why it's not running her animation. <clears throat> a 
Okay, so initiator ID is three. Where does it actually call God? I am there. It is I have gotten. Initiator ID should still be three. Okay, good. But hero ID. Your ID is also three. Okay, so it's boiling down to this function not showing her. Hmm. So it's got the frame, it's got the color. Here it up position. Hmm, this is totally fine. Oh, dialog. She's never dialog component. She totally should. So Vel does have a dialog component. Uh, uh, <clears throat> gotta set up these windows again. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Okay, entities, vel. Now I put up our dialogue component in here. Hello, hello. There we go. So now she should be able to pick up the item. As soon as she has the dialogue component, it'll, the item animation be right above the head. Whoops, I don't need that anymore. too high because these this dialogue component was meant for rock or I mean bell while she's floating in the air so this is 37 let's try 35 for Done. Let's confirm. She can pick up items and show them above her head.
Beautiful. Okay, so I made this other changes to the code, so a gear component can be empty. Or I mean, I was relying on bits of code that where the gear component was empty, um, and that indicated that it was player one. But since Vel actually will have a gear component, um, I need to do something smarter there. So I've changed to using the player id of player one. So that's good. A little clarity in the code there. Player id, if not empty, which means it is player. Yeah, that's player. That's player. Okay. Set skin a little bit. What's up, Bafu? Just reworking the set skins there. Okay, that's all good. Alright, next I'm going to work on her shooting north animation. This is going to be a bunch of um, animations that go together. One of them is where she charges, the other one is where she's charged, and then the last one is where she shoots. So all three of those animations need to get done to make her shooting animation north. So that's what I'm working on now. What happened? <laughs> How did this get opened up? Hey, let's open up some styles and some painter wheels. Got charge north, but I think this is all. Yeah, okay. What's the best way to do this? Should I start with her south or north animation? Hmm. This is charge. Who's charge south? So if I had, if I flipped her over, actually, yeah, this would be good. Okay, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start with all the north animations or the south animations for all these. Close that. Charge south is going to become charge north. Charged south is going to become charge north. <clears throat> Let's do this. Starting with charge north.
Wolfski! What's up, Wolfski? How's it going, man? I haven't seen you in a minute. Yeah, I know I'm weird, huh? Working standing up. I can't I can't work any other way though. I got some kind of tailbone weird issue where if I sit down for like 45 minutes even, my tailbone hurts like hell. So it's a good excuse to stand up anyway more often, so I'm, just, I'm working up to it. <clears throat> you trying to get an internship? Where at? Your, t your tailbone's crazy too? Yeah, it's probably a common a common issue with us computer workers. Anywhere? You're trying to get into internship anywhere. What are your options? Like what do you what are you like looking at? Is there anybody like that you'd love to work for? What's your dream internship? What's up, Overcaster? Howdy, howdy. Welcome to today's stream. Boogie! Yo! Your dream internship internship would be working for an indie game company. That's awesome. Are there any uh dream are there any like indie game companies in your area? How are the animations going? They're going really great. Yeah, I made some good progress last night. And so I got a good flow going today. Let me show you what this is looking like so far. She's got this charged up attack. This is gonna be crazy. Gotta use the keyboard. I always get psyched out using the keyboard with her. But you can, so you can, uh, you can charge up your attack. Wait, that's, what's the attack button? This one? Oh, there we go. Okay, so you can charge it up. And then you let go and she shoots. But you can also charge it up and then choose a different direction. And she'll shoot that direction when you let go. Um, and now I'm gonna I'm finishing her charge north animation, so she doesn't have a charge north yet, so she just has this east. It looks weird. So I'm fixing that. Um, and then I'm gonna make it so when you charge her up a lot, like if you charge up a little, she does a whole Yeah, she's gonna be playable. Um, when you charge her up a lot, she's gonna do more damage. Basically, she already does a lot of damage. She's she's like end game. You only play as her in the end game. Oh, you live in the Netherlands. Oh, there are quite a few. Oh, but you're not here in Amsterdam. Oh. Well, good luck, man. Would you have to like travel to Amsterdam then if you did get an internship or what?
Yeah, so Vel, um, Boogie, Vel's going to be playable at the end of the game. So you finally break her out of her cryo sleep, and she becomes this powerful character that you can you can play as for player two. Instead of Jib. Jib, I don't want to say what happens, but you play as Vel instead of Jib at the end of the game. If you're player two. All right, um, so highlight, let's get this moved around. It's linear dodge layer. Oh, you know what happens? <laughs> I think we probably already talked about this. It's probably already been discussed. My memory's shit. Pure shit. <laughs> now, now you all know. You all know. But at least, at least only you guys know. Not everybody's gonna know. So it'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise for some some people. There we go. Back to 20% you. You, get back, get back down on your percentage, you. All right, Overcaster. Thanks, man. See ya. Have a good one. All right, half this, no wait, a third of this animation is done. So we got, this is the charge animation that she's got the charged, where she's like, the power is just sitting there, and then there's the shoot. So two more animations. All right, save that one out. Wait, turn off the background. Save it. I'm going to copy her stance like this. This is just where her hair is moving, I think. Check this out. Hair to the right, hair back to the left, and this is only these two frames. Yeah. Okay, we'll get rid of that frame. We got this frame now. No propagate. All right, time to make these highlights right. What's up, Pedro? What's up, beautiful people? Hey, so wait, wait, wait. You just called us beautiful people. Does that mean you got the job? <laughs> you think I'm beautiful?
You got an offer, right? So technically, I already can have a job, but I'll wait for more. At a boy, play that, play it, play them against each other. Kamehameha? <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah, this is her Kamehameha dance. Kamehameha. Whoops. This one. Yeah, this one here. So I'm going to get her hair to flop around a little bit while during this animation. This thought it looked pretty good. This looked really good in the last animation I did like this. Hadouken! It's totally a Hadouken. Actually, I'm, I'm going to add one tiny pixel that I think will make this clear that it's it's it looks like a Hadouken but it's actually a, it's actually an item you have it's her palm her telekinesis palm thing got a lot of these highlight layers hanging out Just looking at her hair, focusing on this little bit so it looks really good. Maybe this hair should move more like
No, 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 no. That's not bad. Rinda. Shoot north. All right. God, I got to copy the stance. So who wants points except for Pedro? <laughs> Linda? Linda? What? What? Hadouken! <laughs> you do! Shoot, what was this? 50%? I don't remember. Hmm. What is this? Shoot north, shoot east. This is 50. This one is 43. This one's 20. Okay. It's 50. Ha! <laughs> So now I need a frame where she looks like she's stepping. Hmm, maybe she should go backwards, actually. This frame, she could be sort of like... Ah, I guess no. I'm just going to make this a little more... Abzu, I haven't... Oh, yeah, I saw some... I saw people playing it. Have you played it? It looks really fun and refreshing. Like you just like, I, I want to like jump into the ocean right after I see it.
<laughs> Shut up, I'm watching the trailer. <laughs> it is, it is. It's like a raft in the sea. It totally is, Kobari. Holy crap, there's 10,000 fish. It's a lot of fish. Whoa, minor lag issue. Minor lag issue. <laughs> it's totally optional. The fish tornado. I like that word. Game great. Yeah, wow, that is a fish tornado. Where's the dolphins? I thought the dolphins were the ones that created those tornadoes. It's an FPS tornado. <laughs> it just said, look at me, I'm pretty. Ahoy! What's up, Saladongs? Pedro, Pedro won 46 points. So rigged. So it's a, it's a walking simulator? Or it's a swimming simulator. Oh, there's like a new bird in our neighborhood. It's going. It's hard to make its noise. Anytime someone misses Journey, my mind immediately goes arcade game. Oh. Mame. I remember Mame. For like a fish aquarium simulator. <laughs> it's it. It sounds fun. Like fish aquariums. What's up, baby?
stream. <laughs> Journey the Arcade Game is literally a video game advertisement for the 70s band Journey. And uh, I've never I've never played either of these journeys. Well do Ken. Okay, her legs. What's up with this? She needs a mic. She needs a step forward. That's what it is. Step forward. Step forward, warrior. What happened to your leg? Oh, she had a pixel down there. Okay, let's see how that all plays together. Bill, shoot north. Render. Compile everything. Charge north, charged north, shoot north. What a reason of staying? Oh, standing. You're talking about standing? Yes, yeah, my reason for standing is um is because I have I have I don't want to get issues with my neck. Yeah, my spine basically. I from sitting down when I was a kid, I I started coding when I was a kid, and so I got into this habit of like doing this too much, you know? And like I got I had bad chiropractic problems. Yeah. So I stand up to just like, you know, to have better posture and stuff like that and keep my spine good. Oh, this is the journey. This is the journey. Dude, this game looks awesome. It totally is. Collect all five instruments so Journey can play their concert. Oh my god. Avoid the swinging gates. This looks so hard. It's delightfully horrible. <laughs> wow. Still avoiding the swinging gates. All right. All right. There's a con there's like a microphone down here. Is it all just avoiding swinging gates? What's different about this one? Oh, avoid the, the not swinging gates. And this one. <laughs> Use joystick to thrust. He's got a jetpack. Oh, sweet. That looked like skate or die hard right there. I bet you that this made this like, right? This shouldn't be that hard, but this looks like skate or die. Like... Oh my god, this is the hardest game ever. Yeah, posture, yeah. It's, it's important for me to keep my posture good because otherwise I just get bad chiropractor issues and spine issues. You know, you, I don't want to have to deal with that. It slows me down. I want to make video games. Not, not like go to the chiropractor. Oh yeah? It's playable through a web emulator? Sweet. Bell charge north. I swear I just rendered that. What are you talking about? Charge north is not rendered. Charge north. Re-render. How about that? Hmm? Re-render it. You love the config. Oh yeah, see that? It didn't even render.
Internet Archive is such a sweet website. So I'm pretty thankful for what they do for the Internet Archive.org. They also just got an Amiga emulator. Sweet. Nice. Nice. Oh, that looks good. Oh, except that she needs to do her... It needs to be flipped. All of it needs to be flipped. Flip it all. Flip it all over. Image rotation. Wait, 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 wait. So you're telling me that idle north, she's facing the other way? No, she's not. She's not facing the other way, man. It's weird. Okay. I'm gonna I'm just gonna ignore my confusion for a minute. Yeah, plus <laughs> way back machine. Image mode. Oh, it's because uh, I never changed this part. Okay. So the whole image needs to move to flip horizontal. But this first frame is not flipped horizontal. Alien! What's up, Alien? Red! What's what's red? What's up, Starbuck? What's up, Erg the Great? What's up, Shackles Shotgun? What's up, Invaders? Alien Invasion! Yo! What's up, y'all? What's up? What are you guys doing? What you guys raiding for? You guys raiding a lot? What you guys been taking for your booty? It's a raid! <laughs> nice, dude. Thanks, alien. Thanks for raiding. Raiden like like Mortal Kombat raiding. Just working on this little animation here. What are you guys doing? Welcome to the welcome to this stream. Where we talk shit and give each other points and stuff. Wanna send some folks? Thanks. Oh, thank you. How's, how's things going for you, Alien? How's the design world? How's it being a, being a, like a being on an amazing team full of kick-ass talent? The Office Lovers? What's the Office Lovers? All right, let's check out these animations. I think these ought to be good now. Charge. Boom, yay, they're right now. Okay, cool, let me plug in my um, control hair. Doing good, nice. Don't actually look it up. <laughs> it's a dating sim. Man, they're creating sims for just about everything these days. You're on parental leave? Sweet. You've been playing games, watching streams? Sweet. Kiddos are asleep? That sounds, that sounds lovely. Yay, 
all her animations are finished now. So I can charge it up and let it go in different directions. Charge it up, let it go north. Charge it up, let it go south. Yes, it all is working. Badookin! Badookin! Thank you, Starbuck. Appreciate it. Play the John. There's a John Santa dating sim? Oh my god, really? <laughs> no way. <laughs> You're just looking at games under $10. <laughs> Sexy high school adventure. Uh. Fuck Osan. It's a visual novel, huh? Let's see some let's see the video. Is this the one? When is it gonna become like a game? Is it, it's not a game? I bet you it's not even a game, huh? It's just like this. It's, the whole game is just like this, just pictures. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. All right, so next steps. Next steps for this whole, it's basically glorified choose your own adventure, yeah. Um, okay, I wanna do a charged up animation where she, um, She can charge like longer and have a stronger ball of energy or whatever. So this is like energy level one, and then if you hold it down for a minute, she like does a bigger one. Maybe we should do sound effects. What should I do next? Really? They're surprisingly large genre, huh? Extra charge level, charged up sounds. Charged up sounds would be pretty cool. Yeah, let's make some freaking sound effects. That sounds fun. Sound effects time. All right, alien. Cool, man. Kids are up. Nice seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so we'll go get status. Get add all. So now she's got um, a charge north, charge to north, and a shoot north. That's it. Spells shoot north. My name is. All right, so where is her input system? Use palm. 
There we go. So when she uses the palm, she'll start her charge sound. And then it'll do a looping sound after that. And then when she releases her palm, it'll stop the loop sound and do a shoot sound. So this is all going to be kind of like an energy wave type of sound effect. See what is in there so far. I think it's just the old sound effect from. Oh, what's up? Oh, there we go. Something kind of similar to Rock Shield and him would be good. Question is, did I do that in Ableton or did I do it in something else? Raw Songbringer. That would be what Shield would be called? Probably be called Shield or Courage Shield, maybe. Chi Shield, here it is. Okay, let's hope this doesn't crash the screen, the stream. <laughs> if it does crash the stream, I'm sorry, but I'll be back. Come on, Ableton, you can load. No crashies. Nice, it worked. It worked. Yes. I like this sound. This is a good bass for this sound effect. So I'm going to start with this. We'll save it as um, Chi Charge. Cheech and Charge is a great adventure. So this has um, a lot of attack. I mean, it has a strong attack. I don't want it to do that. Whoa. Oh, there's two pulse width modules going on here. Ooh, sweet. They both have that sort of. Is that one or two? What's the difference between one and two? Wait, wait. That's one is the more os. Two is the wave. Oh, okay, so more wask is halfway up. The wave. I'll turn this all the way down. Sweet, that's kind of cool. All right, I'm trying to figure out what, oh, it must be the envelope. Or this, oh, this low pass. Yeah, that's it right there. And so it must be the two or the three, what's the three doing here? Three is the filter envelope, it's barely changing, it's gotta be this two envelope. Filter attack, oh yeah. Nice, there we go, now it's getting to be a little bit of a. What's up, Scissor? Yeah, sound day. Woo! Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and export this already. See what this is sounding like so far. It's got some pop click going on, but. You just you just quit massive after seven hours of music. Uh, gotcha. Wait, 
Wait, I think that was wrong. Export again. Does it have a main track? You mean like the title theme song? It, I have an old version of it, yeah. But no, it's not. It's not online. It's only in the game right now. At least the newest version. I had a. I had a little bit of a um a SoundCloud account started, but SoundCloud has just gotten like lame lately. It's gotten all tons of. Ad am I am I wrong? Is anybody what do you, what do you guys think about SoundCloud? Does anybody else like SoundCloud or like dislike SoundCloud or have any thoughts on SoundCloud at all? I tried to create an account. I've tried to create so many accounts on SoundCloud and never really gotten anywhere. It seems like everybody's kind of like sort of overly self promotional on that site. I don't know. So I guess it's kind of a neat way for people to listen to music, right? What's up, Rocket Bunny? Rocket Bunny! You never notice the ads? Oh. Well, they've gotten cr like crazy, crazy added out lately. And then when they started out, there were no ads. It always just kind of bugs me when a company like changes their their. I don't know. It's like they they bait you into thinking that the website is cool, and they're like, "Oh yeah, we're a sweet company. We don't need to, we don't even need to charge for ads, or we don't need to have ads." And then all of a sudden, they have more and more ads. They just give you a few minutes of upload space if you don't pay. Yeah, yeah, they don't give you that much anymore, huh? Yeah, it's when they change their business model, right? Ah, ah. All right, so I'm gonna give her this charge sound. Yeah, I know, right? YouTube's the same way. YouTube used to have no ads, and then you could skip. YouTube still doesn't have ads. <laughs> yeah, if you know what you're doing. G charged will be G charged. And then shoot will be G shoot. Yeah, right? It was, right? Until Google bought it. How do ads even work in SoundCloud? I don't know. I don't know how it actually officially works. Don't forget Google's an advertising company. Ooh, that sounded pretty cool. Yeah! I love it. Now I just need to work on the other two bits of the sound. I think I'm gonna change the key up a little bit though. Or not the key, but just like change the pitch this note that it's playing. So it sounds a little bit different than um, the rocks uh, effect, rocks shield effect. What's up, Arcane? You just, you don't see any ads on there? I don't know how it works, but uh, or maybe it's maybe they're charging it, people. Are they charging you to like? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about it. Yeah, it might be special regions or countries. Maybe they just started rolling it out in just the U.S. or whatever. I don't know. For a game like Songbringer, what are the advantages of C++ compared to something like Java? In my opinion. I got you on that. Um, the reason I chose C++ is because it's faster than both Java and C Sharp. And um, it's not considerably faster than C Sharp, especially if you're doing C Sharp with like um, well, with managing your memory correctly in C Sharp. And, I, and that's all from like from like hearsay and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't haven't actually experienced that. I've only heard that from other, other developers. But there are some really, really 
tight loops and stuff like that in Songbringer's Code. Like, for example, it creates an entire world. It's, it's a procedurally generated game. It procedurally generates the whole world in memory the second you start the game. And it takes that, it takes it about 500 milliseconds to a, to a second to create the world. But that's in C++. If it were in Java, it would take two to four seconds to create a world. And if if that was like, well, I, that might be an exaggeration. I don't know exactly. But um, it's definitely going to be, it's going to be a slower than that. So, um, and then if you try and create like 10 worlds in a row, like maybe one of the worlds fails, then you're looking at like 20 seconds or whatever to just to launch the game. That's a long time to wait in today's day. And so using C++ is kind of a necessity for me. <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. Rocket Bunny was on yesterday. He's like, I want to be a mod. And like, yes, nobody's here to challenge you. Nobody's here to also say, I want to be a mod too. So it was a perfect moment. Um, Salad Dongs was like, I don't want to be a mod. I want to relish in my no responsibilities. So this is a G sharp. Let's try that. C sharp. I like the sharps. I like the black keys. <laughs> yeah, I want to be a mod too. Oh. This is it. Okay, Arcane, if you really want to be a mod, um, just wait. Wait for your opportunity to ask. To ask again. Ask again. <laughs> Don't don't take Pedro's shit either. Don't take that shit from Pedro. You don't have to take that. I ain't gonna take your shit, man. Take it back. Put it in a can if you want. Mod overload! We have a lot of mods here right now. Yesterday there was nobody. No mods. So, so it was like perfect opportunity. Like, yep, you got it, Rocket Bunny. Okay, it wasn't just the key. It's the the. T what do you call that? It's the ennui. No, not the ennui. It's the soul. The soul of this sound is a little bit... Not quite. Maybe A would be good, and then change the soul of the sound. Pray for Arcane! What's up? Welcome to New Followers, Addison Hawk and Starbuck. So hot dog won 33 points! Oh! It should be 33.33333 points. That'd be funny. Totally unnecessary. Not, oh, wow. That note doesn't work. Wow. It's so crazy. Maybe an A sharp. It's the last note I'm trying though uh, before I go back to G sharp. I just play with the soul. Do you better hope to yes, I know, right? It's not on Wii that I was referring to. Change the point system to float values. Yeah, it doesn't work. His sound sometimes. All right, so okay, I guess you gotta change the the character. That's what I was trying to say about the character of this sound. G 
just needs to change, not the note. Because that, that note sounded pretty sweet in the game. Okay, character. What should we change about you, character? Sound. Wow. Oh, this will definitely change the character here. Thank you! Ever since I've noticed how much better Unix is, I've been hating Windows. Oh no! Well, I guess it's kind of a good thing, I think. It's good that, it's good that you're realizing now, and you're not spending like 10 years of your life using an OS that, that you're eventually going to hate. And, you know, some people... If you get Windows set up right, you can kind of... you can love it. You don't have to hate it, but there certainly is a lot, a lot of power in Unix. Yeah, I think they do. I'm pretty sure they do. On we. Macs are expensive. I know that's one of the one of the disadvantages of Macs, huh? See, boredom, the feeling of listlessness. Dissatisfaction, lack of occupation or excitement. This is like the exact opposite of the feeling I like to have in general. <laughs> no ennui. No thank you, please. No thank you, please. What's up, Clone Geek? I just sorry, I just saw your name there. You've been on here for a second though. Maybe a little bit of tube. Oh, you can't do tube on the second one? Ah, oh, that's lame. Maybe feedback. That's cool. Whoa. Whoa. Yes! Oh, that's cool. Now it's definitely got a different character. That's beautiful. Maybe the sound shaper drive a little. Maybe dry wet. That's cool. I like it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it in the game. Come on. What sound software are you using? I'm using Ableton. This is the, the DAW I'm using. And then this uh, insert here, this plugin is called Massive. It's a synthesizer. This Massive, what you're seeing here is three oscillators and a bunch of effects and filters and stuff. But basically, the three main things you work with in, in, in uh, Massive are these three oscillators. So basically that's how it synthesizes sounds. You create sounds with the oscillators and then you play with them with your filters and attacks and envelopes and feet effects and stuff. That's really all of that is. And then this is the, the DAW with all that. Is it free? <laughs> no, it's not free. It sounded like a 56k modem? Sweet. Now, you know what, um, Ableton is not free, but it actually is getting closer to free. They, they kind of like a, a pretty inexpensive version of it. Is it not yet? 
that guy. Oh, triple! Triple kill, man. Penta kill. Yeah, it is, right? I know, this the $700 version or whatever. Okay, now we see the sound while it's charged up. So it's gonna be a looping sound that goes Please send preset base. No, this is not a preset. This is not a preset. This is the this is something I just created just now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get this. Um, how long should this loop be? Probably the length of whatever the sound is. So. that pop click at the beginning which makes me think I should probably re-render this one in fact what does this have on it this effects nothing there's no effects on here okay cool I'll re-record this uh, into two audio resampling okay I already had resampling on audio to master all right cool uh, okay so I could delete this one she charge now I want to record. There we go. All right, so we got this recorded. I can turn this one off, let this one play. And I can edit this. Yeah, the pop comes from Massive, but it's like, I've always had trouble. It's so, it's so crazy. Massive has this weird pop click issue always. I don't know what, what it is to get rid of it. Maybe I just don't know Massive well enough. Maybe I should try playing with it real quick. See if I can get rid of it. It's probably the, see this is like a complex. That time it didn't pop click. That time it did. It like needs some more attack probably. Okay, there. All right, it was just those envelopes. <laughs> thanks, Jillstrom. Thanks for the encouragement. That's all I needed. So I don't need to even deal with this. I'm gonna get rid of this layer. Wait, I might need to record something into this next layer, or whatever. But let's get that rendered on its own. Oh, that's what it was? You just had to reset? Yeah. Yeah, massive massive is does that sometimes. It's not it's not perfect software. Steve Jobs would have had a would have had a, a temper fit over it. If somebody was if somebody was developing it in his team. Alright, so now I want a looping sound. Okay, I got it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another layer or another massive 
calling it a layer because I'm thinking all visual. Um, yeah, let's get this. Because I'm going to play with this effect a little bit here in this, this track. Is it a driver? Oh, it could be a driver issue. But I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to play one long note. So this thing can repeat a bit. So it's not restarting. restart this one probably does too to make it sound a little more consistent this is the oscillator tab restarting every time it every time it triggers a note it restarts the oscillators um you know starting pitch or whatever okay so i'm gonna use that same technique to record into i'm just wait what did i do there i'm just gonna record into this um this track and then make a loop sound from that. That might have changed the tempo midway, <laughs> midway, but it might sound cool. Mass lift is stable for you? Nice. Roughly here. So if this were looping sound, set this loop up. See if it sounds right when it loops. Close. It's close. Gotta get this dialed in now. Mm -hmm. So it hits, it looks like it hits a nice smooth, smooth point right about there. see where that smooth point is over here. Aha, it's right there. So I did before, wait, after, what did I do? Oh, right before the smooth peak. Let's go right before this guy's smooth peak for the ending. And hopefully this makes a perfect loop. What's up, Disco? Thank you, man. Thanks for saying that.
It's like off a little bit still. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's actually not off. That's so weird. All right, maybe I'm gonna try exporting it and see if this actually loops right in the game. It might just already loop right. Export. She charged. So I got that already charged sound. Now, when we use the palm, it is going to delay. Schedule. Before tick. So we're going to wait a second and then play. How long are we going to wait? Okay, this is um, this first sound effect. Ooh, maybe to about there. This is. 0.69 seconds in. Your preset wild base? Oh, cool, man. Oh my god, dude. Trolled. This website I went to is maybe click OK. Aye. No clicking that website. Loop true. So it's going to loop this sound. And then when we, when we actually do the shoot, it's going to stop all. Stop looping sound, or stop loops, there. Let's see if that works. So it should start looping the sound after, or halfway through. Oh no, it's okay, man. You don't need to send a wave, it's all right. But thank you, thanks for the sentiment. Unless you wanna just share it. If you just wanna share it, feel free to share it, totally. You wanna share your wave? All right, you got stuck, damn. Why did you get stuck? Oh, that time it didn't. Oh, it's still definitely a click so noticeable.
was faded in and out. My brain is really running away from this base. Huh? <laughs> All right, man. See ya. Looping it over and over. Oh, it might be because I st I should have stopped loops before. What's up, Armin House? Welcome. Okay, it's because I released the sound before, um, before this scheduled thing even happened. Do you actually program with C++ right now? Yes, this is this is C++. This is your baseline? Cool man, I I don't I don't have a zip file though. I can't get a zip file on my iPad here. But I'll check it out. So it's calling this it's scheduling the tick or it's scheduling the sound to loop and then it's stopping it before it even schedules it. So we need, yo, e.gear.ready, dot dot we need to check that. So it sets ready, and then when it's done, it stops ready. So if we're not ready, then return, and we need to capture I. Nice. So you started learning C++, cool. Oh, whoops, this is supposed to be F. So the next thing we gotta do is get these sounds to kind of be complimentary. The first sound sounds really cool. It's all bassy and stuff, and then the second sound sounds kind of weak. It's like really quiet for some reason. And then they don't really complement each other very well, so. Like, oh, we don't even need this audio anymore. We're gonna do this mixer track volume like that.
Nice tub killer. Can I copy that? Mm, okay, we'll go to mixer, track volume. Let's see if that pastes. Ah, you can't paste that. All right, no worries. So I got a point there, point here, point here, point here. This is negative five. Negative three. Nine. All right, cool. We'll get rid of this. Now, I'm curious what it sounds like if this were totally an octave up. Uh, thanks, Subkiller, but I already do the music for the game. She charged. Let's see what that sounds like an octave up. Let's see if it complements that other sound. It's weird, kind of crazy low. Let's see what that sounds like. play with it in massive this way.
pigeon mode. Ah. Uh, Dub Killer, I that's on my iPad. I can't download it right now, man. Pigeon mode. It's totally it sounds like a pigeon. Ah, uh, pigeon mode. It's a mating call for pigeons. Is it? Huh. Sometimes you get, you lose touch of what what that's what it feels like until you actually put it into the game play it in the context go and watch dota nice man all right disco see ya <laughs> see if this sounds less like pigeons or more like pigeons Okay, I just noticed the animation for when she's charged. Is one pixel to the right like too much or something? What's this? This is when she's charging, she's 18 pixels charged. 19 pixels, that's the problem. All right, so all of these layers move over one pixel to the right. <laughs> yes, I do, Ken. <laughs> you do, you do. It's your responsibility. Since you don't want to be a mod, you have to be responsible for doing the Hadouken sound mod. This one too. So we got all these layers, one pixel to the right. My computer sounds like it's about to take off, which it might be. It might be about to lift off. We got enough rocket power underneath this thing. There's enough heat down here to light. Light a fire, they'll send us to the moon. Come on, run it. That looks a lot better. 
I like how she crouches down even one more a little bit as soon as she's got it all charged up. Nice, I'm liking it. What exactly is size C? It's an unsigned int. It's an unsigned integer. Depends on your platform, what bit, how many bits it is. All right, so I think that's gonna be it for today's stream. I really like how this all turned out. Um, what I worked on today was getting her palm bolt attack to, um, I finished the north animation and I got it so she, she can hold it down. This is pretty cool. So she can hold it down and then change the direction that she shoots um, right before she, either she, she can like, like if I crouch into this stance, I can press the down arrow to like shoot downward, or I can press the up arrow, shoot upward, whatever. You can change the direction of your of the shot by holding down a direction at the end. So that's pretty cool. And this sound effect sounded pretty good. I might do a couple sound effects like this, so one, two, or three, or four different like sound effects, something like that, so that it's a little more unique, a little more variety. She's pretty badass, I like this character. Alright, so everybody, have a good night. Um, that's it for today's stream. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you all. I'll catch you next time.